What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're looking good. I hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Am I the Assholes? We're going to be doing just a bunch of random ones today. Um, if you'd like to, you can follow me on social media being JOKV underscore Creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter and Creations underscore Reacts on Instagram. And if you don't know who I am, I, my name is Creations. I do a lot of Am I the Asshole reads and then sometimes just random things on sub on uh, Reddit. Let's go ahead and get into this Am I the Asshole because you just might be. Am I the asshole for angrily telling my friend that he is not the victim in his relationship? That is a bold question, but it says not the asshole and y'all know we're the judges around here. So yeah, I 28 male have a friend, Bill 29 male. We are part of a whole group have been friends for at least 10 years. And some of the men and women have even ended up marrying each other. Point is, we all, we have all known each other for a very long time. Now, Bill has always displayed narcissistic personality traits, especially in his past relationships. He's a very condescending person and thinks that he's better than everyone else because he has a well-paying job. That don't mean shit. Okay, now, that, that really don't mean shit. You can have a nasty-ass attitude, but you can get paid well and look good doing so. So, eh. Owns his own house and car, all of that. Okay, so he financially is stable and kind of owns a lot of his stuff. But he an asshole. Okay. Mm. There are people like that in the world. It is what it is. In comparison, some of the other guys still live with family and such. Me being one. In his mind, they haven't grown up and he's better than them. Oh, okay, calm down now. Just because you're still living with family, this, that, and the third, you don't know the person's situation. You never know, like, bro, and this, and this was like one year ago. Inflation is a bitch right now. It's kind of hard to kind of live out on your own, especially by yourself. So I don't judge anybody when it comes to that. Shoot, I'm still living right now with my, pe my peoples because... Uh, it's just more of a financial thing. Like, I'm financially okay, but I could be better. And that's just my own thing. Um, but, yeah, I... Yeah, mm, 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 mm. You might financially be better. That is one thing I can't take away. But in regards to attitude, whatever else... Mm, it's usually easy to ignore. Because he's very charismatic and brings in new people to the group. In past relationships, he has been really awful. Oh, geez. Giving girlfriends a checklist of stuff they need to change to be with him. Oh, my God. Commenting on their appearance, etc. Ooh. Ooh. See, I don't ever comment on somebody. Well, I might sometimes. But I always go back to myself because I try to... If I do, it's one, because I don't know them and they're just a random person and I don't think I'll ever know them. And it might be like a little side thing, but it'll never be out in public. It might be to like a friend or something and we crack a joke or something. You know what I'm saying? But in regards to looks and stuff, I don't, when it comes to like, I never talk bad into somebody's face about their looks because I always look at myself and it's like, even if I think I look pretty decent, it's like compared to a lot of people, I might be looking like a hideous monster. Okay. So I don't ever judge anybody that much in regards to when it comes to their looks, at least not to their face. And like, you know, these are the improvements you need to make. No, no. At least I don't, I personally don't do that. At least to their face. Again, maybe behind the back, you know, somebody else or whatever. Especially, but these are like usually random people. I don't know. So I know a lot of people do this, but you know, it, it is what it is. You know, I just don't judge it necessarily like, you know, that they're, that, no, there's, there's somebody out there for everybody, y'all. There's somebody out there for everybody. Let me continue. That was side rant. But because a lot of this was years ago, I think most of us hoped he'd grow out of it. Uh, I was about to say up, out of it. He always describes all of his ex as crazy and we usually believed him. Some we could confirm were crazy because we met them. And with the ones we didn't meet, we just believed his story. Enter his new girlfriend, Sarah, 33 female. They started dating in July, 2021. We all got to know her and she is awesome. She's very down to earth and friendly. She has basically become friends with everyone. 
Well, Bill asked Sarah to move in with him at the end of April 2022. She did since she saw the relationship getting more serious. Then at the end of June 2022, Bill randomly broke up with her. When asked what happened, he says that he just hated that his house no longer felt like his house because all of her stuff, which everyone thinks is ridiculous. Well, unfortunately, with the housing and rental market being what it is right now, Sarah had trouble finding a place to move that we that would meet her needs. She found, I mean, let's be honest, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm be having these little side comments. It is kind of hard to do that. Like, especially nowadays to find something at least decent with a washer and a dryer and decent kind of layouts. It is. It's pretty expensive. At least depending on where you live, that could be in the thousands. Okay? And even where I'm living, that's kind of somewhere in the thousands. Uh, not even kind of. It's somewhere in like 1500 and above. And that's just for a one bedroom. Okay? Let me know down below like where y'all's... We're, we're, we're for a decent place. And I'm talking about a decent place. I don't mean like necessarily, and this is not to be rude or nothing like that in the hood, kind of like not. I'm talking about like, you know, decent layout and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of modern a little bit. Like how much is it in those? Because ours is in the 1500s and stuff. So I have to kind of move in with somebody because it is, it is too expensive. My apologies, y'all. Let me find where I lost. Where we're unfortunately with the housing and rental. Okay, okay, boom, bam, boom. Sarah had trouble finding a place to move that would meet her needs. She found one place that she took, but the place isn't available until September 30. So I don't know why I said 30. 30th. So she had to stay living with Bill. I know from talking, we both of them that Sarah wanted to be as mature and friendly about the whole thing as possible but Bill has done nothing but be an antagonistic as possible mm. he's done stupid stuff like blaring TV when he knows she's trying to sleep and he's also done really cruel things like calling up a booty call putting her on a speaker phone and talking to her about when they could hook up when he knew Sarah could hear it. That's just you being an asshole at this point. Like, come the fuck on. Anyway, the guys were all hanging out and Bill kept complaining, trying to sound like the victim in the situation. Are you kidding me? All right, let me continue. And I finally said, stop trying to play the victim. No one here thinks you're the victim in this. Actually, if you could have been mature about the breakup, then there wouldn't be any victims. This would have just been a relationship that hadn't worked out, but you made Sarah the victim by all of your actions. So just stop bitching and get over it. God damn. Damn. When your friend got to know the, the truth, truth be hurting sometimes. And it sometimes might not sound nice. Everyone else agreed with me. God, see, and that's how you know when everybody else agrees. Mm -hmm. But Bill got pissed and left. Am I the asshole for how I handled it? No. No. I'll be very straightforward. No. Because sometimes you got to be very straightforward. Now, I am the type of person where I might, that's where it's like my, not emotion, but like, caring part will be a little bit iffy like it's weird I'm, I'm weird sometimes when it comes to like me being blunt and me being kind I'm usually outwards I'm pretty straightforward you know I have no issues with a lot of things you know I'm very open you know I I don't mind talking this that, and the third I mean shoot some friends even say I make friends a little easily honestly in certain areas but it's more so acquaintances I'm just respectful I try my best to be as respectful as possible this that, and the third but when it comes to my friends, I also can be pretty blunt. Like, if you ask me something, I will let you know. Um, you know, just it is what it is. I'll just let you know. Um, and I don't know. It's if they're on some bullshit, then it's like, I think for some reason, why am I like this? I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little hard for me to actually say something like that. Like, I don't know if I'd actually be able to say something like that to them. I think that's where I'd probably hold, hold, um, 
I think at that point, that's when I'd actually like really hold myself kind of in a little bit and just kind of be like, uh, just kind of listen, if that makes sense. So I don't know if I'd have the actual guts to actually say this, honestly. But I don't think it's bad. Like, I don't, I don't think he's the asshole in this one. Like, he had to say what had to be said. Like, if he's always complaining this, that, and the third, and it's like, you can kind of see that he's not really being the nicest person to this person. Like... No matter what the situation happened with y'all breaking up, y'all can at least be mature about it. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. But I don't think it's the asshole. I feel like Reddit was right on this one. Next. Am I the asshole? My wife is threatening to leave me because I messed, missed our cat's last birthday. Mm. Mm. It doesn't say or not. It's been six days. Will be the judges, of course. Our cat, Minnie, 17, female. Wow, that's the cat? 17? How long do cats live for? So she's definitely older at this point. Had a birthday earlier this week, and I, 42, female, missed it because I had prior obligations. During my work week, uh, meeting my wife, 43, female, kept messaging me, saying there was an emergency at home, but wouldn't tell me what. I, of course, left and rushed home, even though the meeting would have ended in a big promotion for me. Dang. So you really, you really trying to make sure, you know, this is, this gotta be big. Okay, you leaving at that point. As soon as I got home, my wife started screaming at me and went as far as throwing a chocolate strawberry I bought her last week at me. She said that she told me weeks ago about our cat's birthday and didn't care about the promotion. She also said that I didn't love her like I did in high school. Seems kind of out of nowhere, but maybe we're missing some context, but it kind of feels like this is kind of out of nowhere. The thing is, our cat's liver is failing and we, ha we have to euthanize her in a few days. I'm not going to lie and say that that's the best thing. That is very terrible. I definitely had to go through that so I can at least have an understanding. We have had this cat since she was a kitten and she was the first child we raised together. We now have two human kids. I didn't go to my cat's birthday because I had to work. Had the work meeting. As I said before, and our cat didn't know it was her birthday, but my wife seems upset because it was very important to her. She has been sobbing for the last few days and refuses to talk to me. Our kids are ex also extremely upset because we have to put Minnie down on Wednesday. My wife threatened to leave me if I don't find a way to apologize. Okay, I'm gonna be very frank and I might sound like an asshole on this. Um, just divorce. Just divorce at this point. I'd say go ahead and write up the papers. Cause now she's, no. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry y'all. Like, okay, y'all have your opinions. Let me know down in the comments. For me personally, I don't think she's the asshole. You know, it's work. You can't really put a lot of things on pause. Now, and this is where it will vary uh, based off a of person because, I don't know, I feel like when you come to the conclusion, you come to the acceptance of uh, a passing coming, and I'm going to specify it to at least, an, well, you know what, a person or an animal, honestly, you know, you get a little bit to the point where it's like, okay, you're kind of gotten to the point where you've now accepted it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, this is her job. She needs to get a promotion. I don't know what the job is like. I don't know if she loves it or not. But apparently she was about to get a promotion. So she's doing very well. So, I mean, I think the biggest question for me is like, did the cat pass already? I feel like if the cat did not pass already, you know, you'll have moments when you have to go and do what you have to do. Or even then, or when she comes home, you know, like... It, I would assume, and I'm making the assumption, I have no freaking clue what the job is. I'm making the assumption she's going to get off work at some point so she can celebrate it a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. You never know when, well, they have to use an euthanize her so you can actually kind of plan a little bit for it. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't think she's the asshole, um, but that is just me. 
and my own little reasons. Next, am I the asshole for telling my mom she's destroyed our relationship? Says not the asshole, but you know how we do. Silver background information, I'm 17 female and I live with my mom. I moved in after going no contact with my father. Within the last year, my mom and I have started arguing a lot. She expects me to go to school, work my main job, work at my internship that she's basically pressured me into getting and clean the house. I am so overwhelmed. Oh my freaking God. I am so overwhelmed at all times and I can barely keep up. I've tried telling her about this, but she won't listen. No matter how I approach it, the situation, she won't listen to me. I'm honestly at my breaking point, which I'm not going to lie. That sounds, just being a kid and going to school in general is a lot. I'm not going to lie. That's like you going to work, you having to go to work and not get paid. You get paid, you're apparently getting paid with knowledge, which I'm not going to lie, y'all. I feel like the only knowledge I kept from high school was a little bit of history, which I feel like we shouldn't have gotten tested on. And then, you know, math. I feel like math was like probably the best thing I learned. So you can learn your percentages, your discounts, your bills, okay? Math, a little bit of history, and then a little bit of English so you can make sure your resume is good or if you have to type something up, you know what I'm saying? But it really depends on the job. So it's like, it's good that you know all this stuff, but I feel like out of all things, I, I made sure math was the biggest thing. I was the best at math, okay? Not everything, but when it came to percentages and stuff, Percentages and factors I wasn't really the best at, but I got better at that a little bit afterwards. But that was the best thing I'd say anybody should learn because you got bills and stuff and discounts and, and, and all that stuff is the best thing to learn. But yeah, if you have all this stuff, you have school, your regular school, you have a job, you have a internship, and you have to like, you know, keep up the cleanliness of the, yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is a lot for really anybody. Shoot, I think, like, even one of my friends, she had a whole job, but then she also had um, college, and even I told her this at one point, and just simplify it, because I can't even quote myself, but it was, like, something in, like, you don't really have time for yourself, because she had, like, literally every single day, she had to do something, so it's, like, I can see how that could be a lot, okay, but... It, this is a lot. So I don't know how the mom is. What is the mom doing? I'm very curious. What What is the mom doing? What, what are her jobs? She has a job, I assume. Is she going to school still? Does she have an internship she has to do? Is she cleaning the house? Like the only thing I can probably see out of this is maybe cleaning a little bit of the house. Because obviously it seems like she, the kid's cleaning as well. So they better be splitting that half half. And then it seems like she's working as well. So it's like I'm seeing two people in a house that works, cleans. And there's another person that has an internship and going to regular school. I'm sorry, who's doing the most work? And it's like, I know for some people it's going to be like, well, you know, the mom is the mom, you know, and she's making sure there's a roof over her head. I'm sorry, at this point, they feel like the kid's going to be a grown adult at this point before she even got out of high school, which is not bad, but it's like, I'm going to need the mom to have an understanding. I went on a whole rant. Let's continue. I apologize. So about two months ago, we had another big fight and I told her that if she won't make any effort to listen to me or acknowledge my feelings that I was going to stop putting effort into our relationship. I waited a while and when I realized nothing was changing, I stopped putting effort into our relationship completely, which that is the worst thing to do because at that point, if you don't feel like listening, taking time, talking, this, that, and the third, if you're not willing to put in the other part of the effort, because it's, it's two people, you know what I'm saying? Two people got to put in effort. And if only one put in the effort. Mm. I want, I waited. A, okay, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I started only giving her one worded responses and tried to be away from the house when she was there. I would only leave my bedroom to use the bathroom. Oh, geez. That's how you know it's getting worse. Today, she texted me and asked about my senior pictures and how to look at them online. I said that she couldn't because there was no way for her to log in and it wasn't a big deal because my grandmother and I already ordered them and they were on the way and she could see them then. She blew up and accused me of this, this including her from ordering my senior pictures. Calm down. 
which isn't true because two days before when we were at my grandmother's, I said they were available to order and she didn't say a word. I told her that, and I assume she just meant that, you know, like she said, she said like, you know, the daughter said something and the mother was like, okay. Or I guess she didn't say a word. So it's like, okay, probably in her mind. But uh, yeah, at this point, you better learn how to use that computer. I'm sorry. Where, where, where we go? I told her that, and that she was making a huge deal out of nothing. She then started threatening me with putting Life360 on my phone. What's Life360? She always threatens me with that when she's mad, but this time I told her no, that she wouldn't be doing that because it's my phone and I pay for it. My grandmother bought the phone for my birthday and I pay my own bill. Ooh, girl. I mean, yeah, when you start paying your own bills for things, it's a little different. That's a little different. I'm sorry. I don't care who's the parent or whatever. The moment you start paying your bills for things, you don't really have that much right over them at that point. Which I am so glad my mom is loving and caring. And she makes sure that I am kind of good on my stuff. Like, honestly, when it comes to bills, she helps me out a little bit. It's more like an extension. Like, it'll come off for her. But the thing is, at the end of the day, I gotta pay it back. It's me who has to pay it back, you know, get back on track. So I love how she's, you know, kind of helping me with this. But this right here, when you don't have the best parents, and especially when you're paying a lot of your stuff yourself, uh, you have restrictions yourself. So, uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my track. Let me continue. But this time I told her, she said, okay, right here, phone bill. She said that this was her damn house. And that my car was hers too. But that's also not true because the car was a gift from my grandmother for my 16th birthday. I said that if it was her car, she could start paying for the insurance and gas. She told me I could either put Life360 on my phone or she would take my car. I said, okay, you can find a way for more to Mm, you can watch you huh, let me try this again I'm sorry y'all okay you can find a way for me to get to school 30 minutes away goodness work 45 minutes away and my internship 25 minutes away after we were arguing back and forth for at least 45 minutes I told her that she was one of the most selfish and childish people I know oh lord I love these kinds of things oh <laughs> <laughs> she talking to her mother, girl, that I hated being around her and talking to her and that she has destroyed our relationship. I again told her that she never listens to me and constantly invalidates me and my feelings. She says she doesn't listen because I'm always attacking her. I then told her that if she was going to continue treating me like this, way I would be looking into emancipation. I've been crying since this morning because I love my mom, but I don't understand why she's been treating me like this. So am I the asshole? No. That's just an immediate no for me. This is my opinion. I don't think she's the asshole. I feel like she's definitely valid for her, her feelings. Like if she's kind of getting this and like feeling this way, you know, take time to actually listen to your child. Like, I, I don't know like some parents do invalidate their child because it's like oh you're little you don't know what you're talking about this ain't too much da, da, da. just listen to them like you were a child at one point come on now you i'm pretty confident have had maybe well you know what maybe maybe not have had your feelings invalidated by your parent and probably think you know like they were right or something like I, just listening and and you know helping a little bit goes a long way just because you give them a roof over their head and give them food. And I'll even say, you know, give them maybe a car to get them around to the things they need to get to. Those, well, I was about to say those are bare necessities you need to do as a parent. But like, honestly, truly just the school, shelter and food are the bare necessities that you have to do as a parent. From my knowledge, I could be completely wrong about this. A bonus is if they love you. Okay. So... You know, anything else after that is also a bonus. So it's like, just listen 
show some compassion, you know, have an understanding, talk to them. Really, a lot of this feels like it could have been done really simple and, you know, could have been concluded with a talk, with having a deeping and meaningful conversation, you know? That's how it seems like to me. And I'm sorry, y'all, I've been ranting a lot um, and going off on my own little thing. So I do apologize. And my computer has been going off here and there as well. So hopefully this is like black out the stuff or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's the asshole, my opinion. All right, that was actually pretty nice. I think the last one, she wasn't the asshole. She just, they didn't want to talk about it or she doesn't want, the parent didn't want to talk about it. So it's like, you know, communication, communication, actually listening, that would help. Previous one about the whole birthday thing. I don't think the uh, OP, right? Wasn't the asshole. I don't think they were the asshole in that one. And the first one being the whole victim thing. I don't think he was the asshole for letting his friend know what it was. Okay. Sometimes you got to be hard and let them know the hard truth. They might not like it, but it is what it is. Um, but thank y'all so much for being here. I freaking love every last one of you guys. I got to go dip out. I need to go to work. So deuces, pieces, Reese's pieces. Bye.